I've been desperate to get some videos out, but my time has been consumed with working for my clients, editing photographs, writing, running around all over the place. But I finally made the decision to let some things go so I can keep my promise and make videos. Now, one of the concepts I've come up with, I'm going to call HPVs or home presentation videos. And these will be done from my studio, but will be presentations of houses that I visited and photographed myself and in areas that I know well. I'll only talk about houses that I've seen and I'll also be doing this for other agencies as well. So let's get straight into the first one. I've got two fantastic houses to show you and explain to you. I hope you enjoy them and be sure to come back and visit again. I'm going to now enjoy my coffee and my croissant if that's okay. This house is located just a short distance from the Piedmont city of Moncalvo. And this is a beautiful area, one of Piedmont's hidden gems. The city is the smallest in Italy. And the reason why is because uh, the Italian queen Margherita visited the town and she loved it so much that she gave it city status, even though it's not really big enough to be a city. That's how good it is. Now, the house is around 250 square meters over two floors. It has two bedrooms, two bathrooms, a living room, kitchen and a double garage and a nice big garden as well. It's the one that all the agents get asked for. Let's have a look at the pictures. You can see here it's in a beautiful setting. It's an independent house, no neighbors connected, no neighbors really overlooking the house, and it has a view of the Alps. In the next picture here, we can see the plot of land. I've just highlighted it there so, it, so you can see where the plot is. It's about 2,000 square meters or 21,000 square feet. It's on a quiet road and it's just a 15 minute uh, drive from the town of Moncalvo, which has everything you need. There's also a, a local town as well that has uh, all the amenities that you need on an everyday basis as well. So you have a town very close by, in fact, just a few minutes walk. Moncalvo is just 12 minutes away and from the house just 20 minutes and you're on the outer strata so it's easy to get to Milan, Turin and the coast and anywhere else you want to go in northern Europe or the rest of Italy. If you have a look at the map here you can see clearly where it uh, is located. This area around Moncalvo, Cosozzo, Vignale and Montemagno is really beautiful. In fact, Montemagno has just been given UNESCO status. It's that good. Let's look closer at the house. You can see there's a large terrace on the front of the house making a portico underneath and the terrace is large enough to hold big dinner parties. Well, let's enter into the ground floor and uh, we can see we've got the entranceway here that leads directly into a big kitchen a dining room and uh, it's a big space it probably needs some modernizing a little bit of uh, some nice colors but otherwise it's in really excellent condition there's also a bathroom there again may maybe you might feel it needs some modernization but everything is in nice clean condition it's a turnkey property let's go upstairs on arrival you come to this big hallway which is actually a very nice space you can see that the current owners are using it there as even as a little uh, workspace Probably some conversion work could be done here to put in another uh, bedroom or to make the bedrooms bigger. That would be up to you, but that's probably uh, possible to do. And we can see the bedrooms here. Uh, we can see there's two bedrooms and in the center there's a bathroom. Uh, we might consider this one to be the master bedroom. As you can see, it has this beautiful wooded uh, ceiling. Again, the colors might not be to your taste, but they can be, that can be easily changed but the wooden ceiling is very nice and uh, nice and light as well and then in the center there's a bathroom which is equipped with a bathtub and then on the other side of this is another bedroom and it probably looks a little bit smaller but it's about the same size it's just this big wardrobe is uh, taking up quite a bit of space so back into the hallway we can access the uh, terrace you can see i put a big arrow there to show where the door is and here we have the big terrace in this photograph and it's a great space. I would put up some kind of canvas roof in to make it a nice shady place to sit in the summer, to sit and read a book or drink a glass of something. That would be up to you. Now you probably noticed that there are security bars on the windows and the important question is, is crime high in this area well the answer is well there is crime uh, there's crime everywhere but it's not a big problem 
and this was common that people put these bars on these windows and uh, but nowadays it's not necessary um, I would remove them put in just a good security system they're not even very expensive now you can have cameras that they can access from your smartphone that you can even speak to and uh, switch the light on when you're not there but controlled by Alexa or whatever but they always made me feel on our house they were a bit like prison bars and so one of the first things I did when we bought our house is remove the bars get an angle grinder out and remove them <laughs> but uh, that, that would be up to you but I, I, that's what I would do now we'll go to the next picture and we can see that at the rear of the house there's this really nice uh, double garage it's come in a bit closer and uh, big enough for two cars uh, the owner there has uh, a car plus uh, the tractor etc the tools that are needed for doing the garden the house is excellent it needs some cosmetic changes but otherwise is really ready to go and you won't find something like this for this money okay let's go to our second house this is reference 009 and this is located in Langa yes just 15 minutes from the Barolo area close to the town of Doliani Let's have a look at the pictures. We can see an aerial view here of the picture and the plot of land. Uh, it doesn't include that big hazelnut orchard that's beside it, but there is a smaller one and a vineyard as well. We'll come to that in a moment. It's really rare to find independent houses with land in the Langa these days, but here we go, a real gem. Now, Doliani is a nice town. If you haven't been before, then you're missing something. It's famous for wine and chocolate. So. What more could anybody want? <laughs> the house is around uh, 345 square meters or 3,700 square feet with a large land of about 2.5 hectares or six acres. And this consists of fields and woods and a dolcetto vineyard. If we move on there, we can see uh, the land up behind the house as well. Then there's a small dolcetto vineyard, which somebody cares for, and uh, a little bit of uh, hazelnuts there as well. And, uh, and and all the woodland at the back there as well so th th let's move on through the pictures there we can see another shot there of the land and we've got a plan here of the first floor um, and it's worth mentioning that the house is actually a newly built house it was built around about five or six years ago by the current owner so you're not buying a house that's been restored it's a brand new house as good as and if we look at the floor plan there, we can see that there are basically three rooms on the ground floor. There's this one called uh, Cucina, which actually is a kitchen, dining area and a lounge. And then we have a bathroom and on the left side there we can see there's a bedroom. If we scroll through, there we go. We've got a picture there looking from the kitchen side uh, toward the entrance and the, and the bathroom and bedroom. And you can access the house from both sides. So there's lots of light as well, and it's easy to get to the front of the house, the back of the house. It's a really nice design. There's the kitchen. Again, everything's new. The lounge area. You'll notice that the, the wood stove there, this is a, a what's called a pellet stove. And um, they're, they're small pellets of wood. Uh, we use them here. I've got one even here in my studio. And they're very efficient and actually quite cheap to run. Um, and this is how the house is heated but there is gas uh, heating for the water here's the lounge area looking toward the kitchen and then we have the bathroom which is an ordinary bathroom it has a shower uh, which is handy so if you've got guests uh, friends staying because right next to it is a bedroom and again access to the front of the house and you have the beautiful views when it's clear here of, uh, of the Alps. Let's move to upstairs and we've got the plan here and we can see there are three bedrooms and three bathrooms all en suite so a nice space. This is the first uh, bathroom which is connected to this room and has access to the balcony on the front of the house. And a second bathroom and a second bedroom and there we go again, this bedroom. Here's the hallway. Uh, for some reason, I don't have a picture of the third bedroom, but uh, you just have to come and see it. And here's the front balcony, and you've got the Alps along there when it's clear. 
Um, on the day I went, it was cloudy. When it's clear, especially in the winter, we get the most beautiful views when the Alps are covered in snow and um, a view onto the town as well. It's that close. And here's a picture that uh, the owner gave me of a view from the balcony, which is quite, quite magnificent. I'm sure you'll agree. And this is the mountain of Monviso, which means face mountain. And it's the highest mountain that's completely in Italy. And it actually was used for the logo for the Paramount movies uh, because the artist that was commissioned to do that logo lived in Turin. And uh, in Piemonte, this mountain is so famous and it's so beautiful. When it's snow capped in winter as well, absolutely fantastic. OK, let's move on. Now we're going to go to underneath the house and here is a big space. It's the full length of the house. And here all you have is this big space and the heating room, the heating for the hot water. And here we've got the back of the house. You can see it needs some landscaping. It's a bit barren, uh, but it's a beautiful position. It's on a bit of a hill. And so you've got this fantastic view. And this is looking away from the house uh, to that uh, woodlands that we saw earlier on the Google view. And that's it. That's the house. If you want total privacy, but want to be minutes away from a vibrant town and the most important wine area in the world, this is it. You can find details on my website. The link is in the description below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Be sure to get in touch if you're interested in either of these properties. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.